Hello, beautiful Aries souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. So my friends, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, and then we'll move into Oracle cards and tarot. Um, a few things came through for you guys. And um, I'm going to lead up to, because I did end up looking up online, a couple of things that came through as I do, definitions of things. Um, leading up to figuring this out because it felt uh, like such a cool realization um, getting to that point for myself. And I'm excited to move into this message for you guys also. So uh, separation, separation, the word separation and superstition actually came through at the same time. And I was reminded of, uh, I don't know, maybe you've did this when you were a kid or I'm sure that it's it's probably different in different countries and that sort of thing as well. But uh, with a best friend or somebody that you care about, if you are walking along and something separates you two, like you're walking on the sidewalk and one of you walks on one side of a pole and the other walks on the other side of a pole, to say crisscross applesauce is this superstitious saying to keep the bond between you two tight or together because that physical separation, if you are superstitious, could provide a separation. Um, so I feel like this is talking to somebody who has like a best friend, somebody from the past when they were younger that we're talking about here. The next thing that came through was <laughs> a line from Tiny Dancer, lay me down in sheets of linen. And so I was led to like a new love. It, um, it made me feel love. Uh, I don't know if this is romantic love. I don't know if, you know, we're laying down in these sheets of linen as lovers <laughs> or we're having a sleepover and sharing a bed. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the next thing that came through was sepia tones and bringing color back from the past. So this is starting to lead me to a relationship of some sort from the past, something that I think about like the colors, you know, colors draining from your life or from the world when somebody who matters to you or mattered to you is no longer there. How the things, you know, that are pleasant leave when somebody that we love or is pleasant to us also leaves. The last thing that came through was S chain. So this is where it got interesting because I don't, and feel free you guys to comment in the comment section there any of these things that mean something to you but s chain in particular i'm curious if this does have specific meaning to you guys or somebody in particular so looking it up online i had to do a little bit of digging i couldn't quite find like s chain there was uh like jewelry there's a i think there's a style of of chain that is an s chain but what really drew me in was, uh, it was Wikipedia, but it was explaining, so they call it class S. Class S is this dynamic between uh, two girls, two women, where there is a very, very strong bond of love. And it's not about sex and, and romance or dating. It's just, it's a very strong emotional bond. And I would even extend this to men as well, okay? I would say, this, the class S, this is something that mm, societally for a very long time would have only really been acceptable between women. <clears throat> and as we are evolving into <laughs> 5D, where those sorts of things are silly, you know, men also can have love for other men without it being something, you know, that is romantic or having anything to do with sex. So... I, I love that that was coming through. That's where I, I feel we're talking about a friend from the past. And it's it's beyond friend. It's not friend. It's not lover. It's class S, whatever this means. This is a totally new concept for me. I've never heard it before. So, again, love would love your guys' input in the comments as well. So I am feeling drawn. We're going to move into some Oracle messages here. Um, Spirit wanted me to pull out the white light Oracle. And I am going to draw this on camera here. I was going to draw it off camera because some of these have, it's art, but there are bare breasts. And so I don't ever really know, like, technically with YouTube, it's okay if it's art, which tarot is. 
but people do get their panties in a twist. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I don't know if we're gonna, you know, are we showing boobs on, on camera here or what's going on? Let's find out. Um, for Aries here, please, Spirit, where is this message going? What does Aries need to know at this time? Bringing color from the, oh, and these are, I didn't even notice this. They're kind of sepia tones. <laughs> okay, Spirit, here we go, okay. <clears throat> What does Aries need to know? Ooh. Okay. Sovereign Queen Maeve. So I'm actually going to read. These are very, very long in the book, but there's a shorter intro. I want to read this real quick. Un momento, por favor. Sovereign Queen Maeve. I'm going to hold this up over here. Changing lighting around, so I'm trying not to cast shadows. Value what is sacred to you by protecting it from interference, even that which may be well-intentioned. Be compassionate, but set firm boundaries. You're going to triumph over a negative situation. It will take courage, but you have more than enough inner strength, resourcefulness, and boldness to accomplish what you wish to attain. Do not give up. You have the ability to connect with higher worlds, so open your heart and mind to light. So the component that's really standing out here is um, protecting, protecting from interference, even if it's well-intentioned and setting firm boundaries. So I'm kind of feeling like something may have happened between you and this class S um, relationship, male or female, okay. Um, this is worth protecting though. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the vibe that something's happened and you're being asked to kind of go back here well and fill in the color from the sepia tones or sepia. I don't know. Feel free to correct me too. <laughs> I mean, or don't, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's sepia. <laughs> but also who cares, whatever. Um, archetypes here as well. The thread. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like, yes, we're we're being led back to an event, a happening, this thread. What is the, com not even, the common thread? What is the, what I think about is um, when this card comes through, I always think about like knitting and having a, a different color yarn going through the work that kind of shows how the stitch is done. It's like a teaching tool. But I feel like the point of this is you're being asked to go back and see something the way something was stitched, even if it was well intentioned. Hmm. Okay, let's pull an animal card here and then we'll get into the tarot. Yeah, what's going on here, spirit? What else does Aries need to know at this time? And I did just do, uh, ooh, that one flew out. Ooh, I did just do a, a new collective reading. I highly recommend you go check it out. It was very good, very, very good. Um, I'll, I'll link it here at the end of the video. Octopus is what came out. So this is an energy of um, trauma dumping, really. Trauma dumping, so <clears throat> octopus energy when it is at play, we can identify this when we're around somebody and we're starting to feel exhausted. <laughs> because they're pulling our energy or we could ourselves be trying to interfere into somebody else's business or life when we shouldn't be trauma dumping though is a portion of the octopus as well it's feeling like for someone here for several of you there's a situation that happened I, like a fight is not quite right I'm not quite right with the fight Something happened in the form of, man, trauma dumping's not quite right. I'm feeling like somebody was sharing something. Maybe you both were, maybe you both been through something difficult and you both needed each other, but you both couldn't be, ooh, you both couldn't be there for each other. Ooh, got all the chills on that. Okay. Okay, let's get into this. <laughs> Let's get a little bit further into this. I'm gonna start here with the Fortuna deck. Spirit, what's going on for Aries at this time? 
it feels it feels like this is worth protecting like i said if it's if it's possible it's always possible let's get through this reading here but i feel like somebody needs to reach out to somebody with an olive branch right okay what's going on for aries here please spirit queen of keys here at the split to start the truth honesty being blunt but kind yeah, somebody, somebody needs to have a discussion. Somebody needs to talk to someone else here. Interesting. Okay. Aries, Aries. What is going on, Aries? <laughs> Eight of Cups here at the bottom. So this is your hope. Um, hopes and dreams. So Eight of Cups is... Or Elixirs, I guess. I was yeah, Elixirs in this deck here. Eight of Elixirs, this is about walking away from something or not walking away from something. Knowing that we need to maybe walk away from something but aren't walking away from something. Coming through in this regard in, in hopes, it's telling me exactly what I just said there in that situation. There was a hope to, or there is a hope to, to have walked away. I don't feel like this is something that, I'm interested to see your fear card here, but I don't feel like this is something that you you actually want this was triggered by the the pain feeling like this individual wasn't there for you but they couldn't have been they needed you too and you couldn't have been there for them okay let's get into this a little bit further <laughs> interesting interesting i'm going to use the light seers tarot here for your second deck what do we have going on for Aries, please, Spirit? What do they need to know? It's been a minute, you guys. I do these once a month, the, the signs, but I do get collectives out as well. It's been a second since I had a message out, though, and I missed you. So good to see you. Ace of Swords here in reverse. Yep, this is your fear. So Ace of Swords is um, it's a difficult process of thought. It's the truth. <laughs> Being in reverse here, this is totally a blocked energy. And the fear, I feel like, is going through that process of processing something difficult to think about. Exactly what I'm talking about here, you guys. And it may not be possible for everybody to reach out to this individual, whoever this is. Um, they may not be on this plane anymore, right? They may have transitioned. If that's the case, I feel like doing this work is still very, very important for your development, for their development too. So whatever we work on here in this moment echoes throughout time, time, <laughs> both backward and forward, you know, based on our perception. Ooh, okay, let's get into this. Four of Keys comes out here to start. Four of Swords, this is healing the heart. Resting. It's rest, but it's not, it's not like, no, oh, this is restful. <laughs> How revivifying can be, but mostly this is licking your wounds. So again, I'm in general here, we're brought back to this situation. You're in a place where you are healing, but kind of. Um, I feel like there is there is a stuck energy surrounding this pain. Licking our wounds, like, you know, an animal would lick their wounds. That's all they really know how to do or can do, I guess, to heal their own wounds. But it does also exacerbate the healing process. It can make it worse or it can totally halt the body's ability to heal if we're continually licking our wounds, right? Okay. This is clarified by King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, shutting the, the heart being shut off. <laughs> it's a pretty clear message to me so far. Somebody needs to call someone or write someone a letter. And if they're not here, write that letter, burn that letter. But first, there's a need to turn the heart back on. The King of Swords is a master of discernment. And you had Queen of Keys here, which is Queen of Swords. Oh, I already shuffled it. My bad. Oh, it was at the split. That's right. I'm like, am I going crazy? I mean, maybe, but it was at the split. <laughs> maybe I'm going crazy. Um, they're a master of discernment. 
There's somebody who is going to sit there and take in the information that's coming to them from others, from their surroundings, and they're going to make a decision that's educated based on the information that's coming to them. Um, being in reverse here, I do feel like this energy is blocked or is not available to you right now, but being in reverse as well is telling me that there is this disconnect from the heart. There's a request here to heal the heart with the four of keys and to turn it back on. Um, where did, there it is. Can I get a little bit more information or advice here? Manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things and confession, releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. Manifestation here. So this is telling me that there is a need or request. You don't need to do anything. But this feels like something that is really important to honor. That's what's coming through. If you're continuing to think negatively about this person, that energy that is being put out there is coming back to you. Maybe not specifically in that situation, but it's it's poisoning the well, is what I'm hearing. So take that into consideration. Like I said, ac taking care of this is healing something. It's echoing through time. It's not just about this moment. And it's not just about this life either. This lesson or this residual energy will carry with you through your soul's development wherever you go until you figure it out, until they figure it out as well. Okay, let's look at the good stuff here for you. King of Elixirs, hey, hey, yes. Okay, you guys, I love this. This is telling me that you're going to start taking care of this. King of Elixirs, King of Cups. The notion of devotion to master the motion of your emotion notion. As I always say, this is this is being supported here, being in your good stuff. This is coming to you. You're finding that center in the middle of this storm. And this does feel like some this does feel like a storm. It feels like something that hurt that bad. Even beyond ego. Like I I think about um, like a class S relationship. I have a class S relationship, my childhood friend or class S, it's weird to say friend because it's not a friend. And there have been things, um, you know, we've gone through shit, like as we do. And I'm glad that we always come back together because I can't imagine living, it's gonna make me emotional. I can't imagine living with half a heart, <laughs> you know? Um, so being in the good stuff here, I see this happening. You guys are figuring this out. You're finding a way to find the appropriate emotional space to handle this. What's standing out to me here on this card, they're not really arrows, but how this is coming up here, being elevated. You are elevating your experience, their experience as well. By finding this place, whoop, I'm seeing this little, it looks like a sun too, on top of this chalice or cage it's being illuminated to you what the truth is here and that is that you love this person even with whatever happened here their love this connection is still important to you and i truly feel like this is something that can be rectified whether or not they're here like i said okay let's keep going the world <laughs> So something coming to an end, a major completion, you guys. An upgrade is something that I'm hearing too. This individual has gone through the entire major arcana. They've picked up all the tricks for their bag. They have the abilities of all of the major arcana, which is what I feel is needed for you to tackle this, to approach this person again or the situation again. It feels like a person taking on the world together. That was always your charge. That was always what you wanted. Hmm. Okay, cool. I do love love, especially like unencumbered love. Anything else here on good stuff for Aries, please, spirit? If I can get my hands to work. 
spread your wings, confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Um, I kind of see that going through this portal here. Got their arms outstretched as if they're about to fly. And release, release grudges, wounds, and pent up feelings through healthy activities. Um, Meet me on the plane. I feel like I feel like for some of you, this person's not here anymore. What's standing out to me on this card are the sacred geometrical shapes, which brings me into interdimensional travel, different dimensions. This may be a person where this work needs to be done in the dreamscape. Okay, let's keep moving forward here. Actually, I feel like... One more here. You tell me a little bit more here in the world. Two of Swords. Time to make a choice. This is the Phantasma deck, by the way. There's a need to make a decision. But this is also feeling stuck. So being in the good stuff here, like stuck between a rock and a hard place, there's something about some, whatever's happened here between you and another person where you maybe you want to connect with this person again, your class S relationship. And you feel that it's just an immovable topic. It's not. There are more than two decisions here that can be made. And as an ableist metaphor, you know, if you take off the blindfold here, you can see maybe there's another option Oh, okay. Even if, ooh, okay. Thank you, spirit. Love the, love the chills. Um, even if this person is here, still meet them on the dreamscape. This makes sense. Okay. So before you go to sleep, you could do this in meditation as well. I find that sleep time is uh, the easiest anyway for me to do this. Request to speak to the higher self of this person. And you can do this with anybody. Um, especially if you don't have access to somebody and you feel you need to or want to speak with somebody or work something out, go talk to their higher selves. Because our higher selves are not our physical selves. There is a relationship, but if this isn't a movable situation for you guys here right now, work it out in the dreamscape. Love that. Okay. Okay. Keep moving forward. So what's in the dark here? What you don't see coming? Oh, you guys, 10 of elixirs. <laughs> oh, I think that this is going to be very fruitful for you if you if you decide to approach this. And I hope that you do. 10 of elixirs is a divine connection. Happy family. Happy family, happy life. Yay. Oh, so I, I see that being very, very successful. I find, too, that, um, you know, everything doesn't always come back together, but, well, yes, it does. Maybe not in this lifetime, but we're not just looking at this experience. We are so much more, right? When two bodies have gravity, they will always come back together, no matter how far they are thrust apart. Ooh, thank you, spirit. <laughs> yes, and this is, this is a divine connection, this person. Oh, I have all the chills on that, you guys. I encourage you to do this. So nine of wands in reverse comes through next. I feel like this is um, not necessarily a caution as much as it is a fear that you may be hurting yourself, um, impaling yourself in this process of reaching back out to this person. Shooting yourself in the foot is kind of something that comes to mind. Can I get a little more information on that, please, Spirit? Nine of Wands, 24, 24 on the timer. Why Nine of Wands here? Awakening, a realization shift or discovery? There's something about like what has been guiding you, your guiding light here being turned on its head. Okay, can you tell me a little more? Why, is, why Nine of Wands in reverse here, please, Spirit? Knight of Swords, 
Ten of Cups here again at the bottom. That's your Ten of Elixirs. I have a good feeling about it, you guys. This feels like a fear, like I said. The Knight of Swords coming through here. The concern is moving too quickly. Um, Knight of Swords can be rushing in to save somebody. It's just a very quick moving energy. And there can be regret for moving too quickly when this comes through. I feel like this is a fear, like I said. Having two Ten of Elixirs and Ten of Cups come through there. It's like what's in the dark here, what you don't see, is this vacillation between what you know is, is divinely protected for you, what is worth protecting, and your fear of losing that or, can, or hurting yourself further by maybe doing what it is that your heart is asking you to do. There's a little message here, too, in all um, this little birdie, little birdo, has got a note in their beak. I say reach out, you guys. I think it would be a very, very good thing. So your challenge at this time. What is difficult? Five, five of keys. Yeah. Five of swords. So this is a conflict. It's um, conflict for the sake of conflict, too. So the hard part here, I would wager, and if this message is for you, you know exactly there's somebody who's come to mind here. This is um, like either party is not wanting to concede. You are either the person having swords stolen from you or you are the person doing the stealing. This is a combination of the two of swords and the three of swords. So like the two of swords here, there's a decision that needs to be made Two, heal the heart, three of swords. This is the difficulty, yes, this starts with a decision. It's not just gonna happen on its own, but those feelings have got to be moved through. They don't belong in either of your bodies, in either of your experiences. The moon comes in to clarify this too. So being in your, in your difficulty, this is fear. This is fear. This is totally, I feel like it's completely ego of the five of keys, ego based. The ego is working to tell you that they're, um, and don't ever go approach that person again. You know, they're going to, I don't know, harm you, drag you through the mud. You're going to get hurt further. I really don't feel like that's the case. Can I get, can we get a little sneaky peek on an out? Like what, what happens if they approach this person? Please spirit, can we get a little, a little more information? <laughs> okay, the moon. The moon. So what's standing out on this moon in particular? Um, the light and dark wolves. We all have the light and dark wolf inside of us. We decide which wolf to feed. You do have Page of Pentacles here, too, um, writing this message as well. There's something about a message being sent. Um, it's our choice to decide which wolf to feed is what I was what I was getting at. The message that's coming through on that as far as what happens in approaching this person depends on which, mm, which wolf are you sending with this message. Mm. Okay. Any other advice on that, please, Spirit? Peace. Peace and contentment are coming to you. You guys, I have a really good feeling about whoever this message is for. Reach out to them, okay? In the dreamscape. And or literally, if that's if that's possible for you. I feel like the dreamscape is a, a baby step, okay? Let's pull, I do want to pull an oracle card here to close this out. And then I'm going to go into an extended reading. We're looking at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions going into the extended. So spirit, if you want to join me there, I'd love to see you. If not, that's okay. Thank you guys for being here. What do we have here for Aries? Final messages surrounding this situation. angel song i'm gonna read this one from the book here i feel like there's this this lighted path like um what is that wisps like will of the wisp 
think it's a Scottish or Celtic tradition. They're little spirits that lead you to your destiny or to your fate. I need to change my fate. <laughs> um, from Brave. Okay, let me read this. I'm just having fun. Having fun with myself. We're having fun. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Lost and found. Oh. You have followed the script perfectly, taken all the necessary steps, and done all the right things. But as you approach the final stretch, your original desire no longer seems to matter. You feel as though you have lost your way. It no longer feels right. You know that nothing you have done is a mistake. All is worthwhile and will eventually serve a purpose. You will rediscover the right path for you and it will lead you to a golden future. Let it all go for a while. The right path will become obvious in time. Not through rational thought and analysis, but through a feeling in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> for a long time, you have been guided by what you thought you should do. Now it is time to be guided by your heart. Love will guide you to that which you love. My heart is my sanctuary, my guide, my truth. It leads me along a sacred path. My destination is love. My destiny is even brighter. Ah, it does have destiny in there. <laughs> oh, I love this, you guys. So um, what I'm getting from that message is to release control a bit. If there are emotions that are like hot emotions is what I'm feeling. Frustration, anger, bitterness, betrayal those need to be released in some way. If you are continuing to go around that, that is that is a protection, that is a guard around your heart because you've been hurt. And like the book was saying on that, you know you've done nothing wrong. And I truly feel neither has this other, has this other person. Like I said, you were both in places where you needed each other and could not be there for each other. That happens, that's real. And that's okay. It's what we do, you know, coming back around that really, I think, speaks to the substance that's inside of us and the power of our own heart. Okay, I love you, Aries. I hope this is helpful. And thank you guys for joining me here. I'm going to move into the extended. Like I said, if you want to join me there, there's a link in the description of this video. I do have private readings open and available as well. There's a link to my website down there while you're perusing. Uh, feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. If this reading did resonate with you, I truly appreciate the support. My Cash App and PayPal links are in the description too. If you do feel called to tip or donate and support the channel in that way, I truly appreciate it as well. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you, thank you, thank you. It goes a long way and I truly, truly appreciate it. Please take care of yourself, Aries. I will see you guys very, very soon. Be well.